Well, an aircraft carrying 67 passengers and crew slipped off the runway at uh, Port Harcourt International Airport, uh, causing panic and chaos. In a statement, the management of Value Jet uh, said the aircraft slipped while taxiing or well, taxiing after landing safely. Uh, there was no damage to the aircraft, passengers or crew. Well, it's the second time in just a few days that an aircraft has been involved in a minor accident in Nigeria. On Saturday, a Boeing 737 belonging to aero contractors uh, crash landed at the Namdi Azikiwe airport. Well, let's turn our attention to Saudi Arabia, where authorities on Monday cancelled visas of all 264 passengers transported by Nigeria's largest airline, Airpiece, upon their arrival in Jeddah from Kano. The airline was asked to repatriate all 264 passengers to Nigeria, but later granted permission for 87 individuals uh, to remain in Saudi Arabia. Many Nigerians have asked if this abrupt visa cancellation is a strategic move aimed at discouraging airpiece from maintaining its operations on this route, especially given the airline's consistently high load factor. Let's bring in Captain Musa Nuhu, Director General and CEO of the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you again. On Thank you. Night. Nice to be here once more. Maybe we should start from this rather, you know, uh, embarrassing one for Nigerians. Nigerians did not find this funny at all. Hearing that, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia uh, authorities actually cancelled visas of all 264 uh, passengers. Uh, are you able to... Uh, find out exactly what may have led to that uh, decision. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the news of the cancellation of the visas of the passengers after they departed came to us as a surprise because before they boarded, mm -hmm. there's a process called the APs and uh, the Saudi authorities involved to ensure that all those who boarded the flight uh, had valid visas. Uh, I'm aware the Minister of Foreign Affairs is consulting with their Saudi counterparts to determine the reason. And I personally have contacted the Civil Aviation Authority of uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm talking mm -hmm. with one of the vice presidents. And uh, the last comment I had with him this afternoon that uh, he's contacting the Minister of Foreign Affairs to get back to us with the reasons uh, why this visa uh, were cancelled. There are all sort of speculations in yeah. the media and I think we should just tarry a little bit so that when we get the actual reason why then we can react appropriately uh, to the reasons why. We, for now, I've spoken to Chief, uh, Chief Alan Ema, the chairman of APIS. He doesn't have any reason. The people they ask, they don't know why. So we just have to wait for official comment from the Saudi authorities mm. as the reason why these visas were cancelled. I, I think it's good a thing that you've reached out uh, because uh, everyone seemed to be on uh, being uh, in the dark. Uh, and good a thing that uh, the Saudi your counterpart in Saudi Arabia has also said just almost the same thing you said, trying to reach the foreign ministry mm. uh, exactly. to speak to uh, the issues. Uh, but again. Two incidents uh, which falls within, uh, I'm quite sure you should be worried, even as, uh, you know, Nigerians, so you, uh, as we're saying, mm. thank God. Uh, but we're also asking why uh, the frequency with which we're having such incidents uh, uh, on our runway. Let us in on what, uh, starting with the very latest, uh, value jet. What's going on? Should we be worried or concerned? No, we should not be worried. Yes, uh, nobody wants to have an incident. One incident in an airplane is one incident too much, but incidents do happen. We should look at a track record over the last 10 years. Uh, we've not had any air crash with the scheduled flights. Uh, and these two incidents were incidents at, after the aircraft had landed during the taxi phase. Uh, the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau, which is very competent and globally recognized, is conducting a thorough investigation to find out what the root cause of these uh, incidents are. Then uh, measures, they will make safety recommendations to ensure it does not repeat. We, on our own part, as the Nigerian, as the regulatory body, mm -hmm. we are in a heightening our surveillance so that we don't have this much incident. 
uh, you have what you call running excursions. The taxi, uh, the aircraft leaves the runway. And this could be caused by several factors. Off my head, I can rule mm -hmm. for it could be weather, it could right. be runway contamination, it could be a mechanical failure, and uh, it could be pilot error. So uh, nobody really knows the actual causation of these two but incidents. I don't know if you say what uh, uh, Valujet. Uh. Valujet has a statement already, eh? and mm -hmm. uh, because if you talk about um, runway contamination, we're talking about the algae, which they also said uh, was responsible, it contributed to it. Yeah. So, so it, it makes one wonder if we have people uh, who keep the runway free of such, uh, you know, oh. well, impediments. Uh, that's the comment of Valujet. They're not in a position to determine the okay. cause of the accident. Only Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau. Even right. as a regulator, I cannot come out and tell you this is... Yeah, have you seen the pictures, uh, some of the pictures, uh, uh, you know, that there seem to be uh, a crater uh, on yeah. the runway? Well, yeah, I saw it. Uh, there should not be any crater on the runway. Uh -huh. uh, but that does not mean that's what caused the accident. Yeah. Well, that's you cannot why we have that kind of crater on any runway. Is it on the runway or on the taxiway? Uh, at the edge? Well, <laughs> it looks like maybe you have the past the end of the runway yeah. Yeah. for it, right? But if any airport anywhere in the world that has that kind of um, crater that, well, yeah, what we're seeing right now. No matter how smooth the you know the flight is and the landing, definitely something will happen. Well, yeah, situation. assuming the crater is on the runway, mm -hmm. let's wait for the investigation. It could be after the end of the runway, mm. uh, the run over where you have right. the crater. So paint so. a picture for us as to how the aviation sector infrastructure is right now. What is the situation? It with, could be a lot better. That's, right. that's, that's the truth. Uh, Nigerian airports have had uh, neglect for quite a period of time. And uh, the effort is being made after a recent audit. And uh, we've been having discussion with the ministers who are compiling all the works that need to be done at all the airports. Uh, the minister has directed we give him a list and we're working mm. and comprehensively so that all these uh, issues uh, can be resolved. But the general thing, the industry is safe and we'll keep doing our best to make it safe. And I want to uh, assure the traveling public uh, industry is safe. We have issues? Yes, we cannot deny we have issues. Uh, even the passing of the airports. Are those self-inflicted issues or issues that you really uh, cannot handle? There's, well, no, issue you can, I mean, there's yeah. no issue you can handle. Yeah, they're beyond, yeah. They're not beyond, it's right. just uh, the maintenance culture. Okay, uh, very fundamental. Uh, Captain, uh, Captain Musa, let me, let me paint a scenario and see if we, you, you can help you know, put some kind of uh, uh, logic to this. Uh, once we flew into uh, the airspace here in Abuja and we couldn't land from Lagos. Yes. And after hovering around, we had to go back where? Mm. Back to Lagos. Yes. And many people in that aircraft were asking, uh, the, why can't we land in any of the nearby airports like Kaduna. Kaduna. So, so uh, is it that, and it was in the night, uh, yeah, close to midnight. So uh, is it that some, our, some of our airports don't have night landing facilities? It's not like that. I'm a pilot, I've uh, been a I pilot know. for over four decades. Uh, when you're going on a flight, you already have your alternate. The company determines if I am going to Abuja, I can't land in Abuja. Where is the best place for me to go? There are several factors they take the time. Do I have people that will handle my aircraft if I go to Kaduna? No. If I go to Kaduna and I don't have ground staff there, or there is no fuel for me to get out of the Kaduna, mm. that's a problem. So for every flight, you, have, uh, you make a plan. OK, I'm going to take my fuel that will take me from point A to B. I'm going to hold for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. If I can't land, then I'll have a fault to take me to my mm -hmm. alternate. Some flights even have two alternates. Right. Oh. So you go there, you can't land, you hold, you can't wait, then you go back to your alternate. If the airlines prefer to go to Lagos, because when they land in Lagos, they'll have uh, people that will handle their passengers okay. and handle their aircraft. No need to go to Kaduna. And you can't, I'm not saying Kaduna, no need to go to an airport That's where you close. can't even... 
uh, get to passengers uh, of the flight. Right. Very quickly, the, the aviation minister, Festus Kayamo, recently told aviation stakeholders, look, I'd rather sack you than lose my job. Uh, and he also demanded for, you know, daily reports on flight uh, delays. Is that happening Yeah, we have now? to. The system is being built. It's not something uh, you, you just can flip uh, your fingers and build. Mm. We were already building the system even before uh, the minister uh, requested for that. I remember some months ago, some details of delays were released and some airlines protested, and I agree with them. Not all the delays are necessarily the fault of the, uh, uh, of the airlines, like mm -hmm. what happened in Abuja. Mm -hmm. It can blame other airlines, you know. Yeah. The whole day, everything went out of whack. I actually was on a flight with the minister. Mm -hmm. We were coming from uh, Wari. We were less than five minutes to land when that incident happened. So the pilot had to abort the landing. We held for a while, then the flight diverted to Inugu. They decided to mm. divert in Ugu because they have the landing facilities awesome. and the fueling and everything in Ugu. Uh, we, we went there and uh, we landed there and waited to... Well, to I, 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 think, I think quite a lot to learn from the NCA. I think mm. we should be having this kind of conversation from time to time. A lot of people, yes. when you're up there, you're a pilot. You understand yes. what, for those that are not pilot, Captain Nuhumusa, DGCU, NCA, many thanks for your time. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah. it's a pleasure being here.